Brighton's finest. Juice 107.2. Been a pretty crazy couple of months for you, right? Yeah, man, for real, bro. Been proper crazy. Just been working non stop. Uh, things have been all taken off. Just trying to keep up with it. And it's the start of a, a big tour for you, your biggest, really. Yeah, yeah, my biggest one easily. Um, and we sold out most of the spots now. So, um, you know, we're doing what we need to do. Um, and progressing the way I want to keep progressing. So it's all, it's all looking good at the moment. Everything's in hand. Is there any way that you prepare before you go on stage? Just kind of, I just kind of go over certain, I go over certain bits that I know are uh, less familiar. Um, and not too much. I just don't like to think about too much other stuff. Do you know what I mean? I just like to think about, try, try and empty my mind. Um, and then, yeah, I just take it as it comes when I'm on stage. So how do you feel now? Yeah, I feel fine, but apprehensive. I just want to get on there and just get cracking with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't like the little hour before, half an hour before. It's always, um, it's always just, you know, it's just, it feels like it feels unnecessary. You just want to jump out there. Definitely. So, what are you trying to give to your fans when you're on stage? What are you, what are you thinking? Trying to create an energy with each song. Um, trying to create a hype. Um, trying to see people uh, reacting in like a in like a positive way and um, enjoying themselves. And I like to see people going mental in the crowd, so I, I don't know, it just makes me smile, so I like all that. So Whizville charted, came yeah. number 38, and that was the first time a High Focus album was charted. How did that feel? And who was the first person you called when you, when you realised it charted? Um, I called... Uh, I think I called my mum, I told my mum. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that, was, that felt, felt amazing, man. Like, we never... It was proper high... Uh, we set ourselves a high goal of... Um, with the album and we, we surpassed it so it's, it's just very humbling now brick or bat was there any one thing that like inspired that song was there something that made you want to write that song particularly no do you know what it was inspired that song was actually just inspired by mama said knock you out by a little cool j <laughs> i just it's just that brazen chorus you know what i mean yeah. just like i just thought don't don't do any uh indirects or wordplay or anything just tell it how it is one time in the chorus so who's your favourite person you worked with on the album? Dizzy Rascal, man. Yeah. What's he like to work with in the studio? Oh, so he's a sick guy. He's a sick guy. I'll probably get along with him. Um, very professional. He's same outlook towards making music that I have, which is very nice because that's, that's few and far between in the music industry. Like People that are real professionals and take it really serious. Like Me and him are both those guys, so we work well together like that because None of, no, neither of us came to play. We both come to the studio to get to do some serious work, and then it kind of comes out like that in the music. I think. Nice. So, are you going to be joined on this tour by any guests? Can you tell me? We'll see. We'll see. Definitely, I'm going to try and bring some people out in London. So, we'll just we'll uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll flex on them in London. Nice. How did you write the lyrics for Don? For Don, um, oh man, so you see some of them all. Lyrics towards the end, I start getting a bit silly. I was just, uh, I was just with a couple of mates, and I was just, I, was, I don't know. It, it, I was, if if there had been a day in my life where I would have done a stand-up routine and I would have just wrote, wrote it, uh, that would have been the day. But instead, I just wrote like a, a, I wrote Don. I thought it was quite a funny tune. And I just wanted to have some lyrics that make you laugh, make you think. Are you going straight back to writing after this tour? Yeah, I've written ten songs since since I dropped Wizzle. Yeah. You going for number one next time? In the charts. Do you know what? I'm just going for um, I'm just going for more success and, and to keep increasing the the fan base. Brighton's finest. Juice 107.2.